Hello, my name is Wolfie Kilo, and coming at you with a brand new uh, loading screen because uh, this developer couldn't really bother to cut this out of this trailer. Because, you know, that's brilliant. And you can even hear keystrokes in the back. Yeah, that's, that's great. Perfect. Great quality of a trailer. And also, uh, this... Oh, those rabbits are creepy. Oh, man. Okay, if you're going to choose a rabbit, make sure that they don't resemble uh, an albino rabbit because they have the creepy glowing red eyes. Yeah, let's not do that. So, yeah, basically you're just having a laser gun in your hand shooting rabbits that have also, that also have la laser guns. And <laughs> that's just basically all. Well... <laughs> You have to start somewhere, I suppose. Which apparently has to be at the bottom of the barrel for this game because it looks like a barren wasteland of grass and ass. Particularly, particularly the ass part of it. But let's just go ahead and uh, wait it out because there's a whole lot of, well, Nothing. This this game isn't really giving me much to work with, except for shit jokes about uh, booty, ass, buttocks. Description: In one magic world, an evil scientist transformed a lot of peaceful bunnies into evil rabbit soldiers. Okay, already the premise has already lost me. It just reminds me of a oh, it just reminds me of a shit game. You know. You know how there was a, a anamorphic animal mascot rush during the 1990s? Yeah, that's what that's what this game reminds me of. The only thing is, it's the exact opposite, where the animals are the ones that are the villains instead of the hero, that kind of thing. And transformed himself into a giant red soldier. Now the evil rabbit soldiers are across the country, so people can't live there because the evil rabbit soldiers. Can you defeat the evil scientists and save the whole country? Yeah, probably so, because it's most likely going to be easy. And uh, that doesn't really bode well for a lot of people. But then again, there's uh, some people that, you know, will probably just turn it on for about an hour, play it, beat it, fuck off, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, and now it's just listing off features of the game, and it just kind of abruptly ties in. I appreciate a little, uh, I don't know, a little tick telling me that it's features, but let's just go ahead and read them off anyway. That's just a minor complaint with a description. Two types of rabbit soldiers. That's all? Two? No, that's seriously all? Okay, here's a good example of uh, basically the same premise of the game that you have. Ape Escape. Uh, ever play that? They had a different variety of um, monkeys, and they ha all had different abilities. There were even some machine guns, and uh, that was entirely awesome. What you have here is basically not really enough to make me care to replay it, uh, since there's not really much of a variety type. Ten great levels to play. Ooh, I bet. Epic boss fight with Big Boss. Uh, Big Boss from uh, Metal Gear Solid? Cartoony graphics for kids. Okay, they they just uh, admitted made me admit this. This game is not for me. It's it's for kids. Kids are not gonna know any better that this is a potential asset flip, uh, considering what the comments have seen. And yes, I do sometimes read the comments ahead of time. But we'll go ahead and get to that until the end of the video. Different soundtracks for each level. With that description out of the way, let's just go ahead and read the favorite first blah, 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 blah. the comment section. <laughs> first comment. Sorry, don't care about this world. Let the evil scientists win. <laughs> I can concur. Oh, hi, Asset Pack. We met again for the several hundredth time. This is pretty bad already, but the description just makes it all worse. As entertaining as it reads, I doubt you'll answer, but still, I have to ask, for real. How old are you? You write like a child. And why the hell did you record the audio while playing? This is pretty bad, even for an asset flip. Uh, please take this down from Greenlight, as it blocks out some of the truthfully good submissions people have worked hard on. 
<laughs> hard on. Um, well, obviously, I'm blatantly ignoring what he said before, but <laughs> hard on. Smiley face. Dude. Dude. Dude, just leave. Ew. Why? Just why? I'll tell you why. Because, uh... Because simply, this individual could. And that's most a green light for you, to be ver very honest. I could even tell that the local, uh, is just from Game Guru as a back left on touch. Sigh. Holy fucking shit, I want to die right now. Uh, believe me, I want to die the very moment I even seen most of the green light uh, games that are, well, here. Not all of them, but a lot of them. I was laughing my ass so hard at this. The asset flipper, can't call him a developer since he didn't actually develop anything, got this game from, I'm guessing, Game Guru or something, and just made up a BS story about an evil uh, scientist and ro rabbit soldiers. Ha ha ha, what a joke. Well, again, the, the, this comment uh, section is not really providing me with any proof or anything to work with, so I have to do most of the legwork myself. And the last comment is pretty much the same thing as before, so let's just go ahead and uh, see what we could find in this Game Guru uh, site. Let's go further down the rabbit hole, so to speak. And yes, that was a shitty pun, and it was intended. So what we have here on the Game Creators at Zet store, a Toon Land collection uh, with a description boasting. This is a collection of the Toon Land skyboxes, terrain, grasses, and models in one pack. Blends well with existing uh, TGC cartoon media to help you create awesome cartoon type games. Bulk media at a huge discount price. And the cost of Toon Land Collection costs twelve dollars, and all of the asset and all of the assets that you get in the collection separately costs about thirty dollars. It is made by a person that goes by the name of Reliquia, and if we take a good look at one of these assets, particularly Toon Land Valley, we will see that there are similarities to the asset itself and the game in question that we are covering here in Green Shite. And there's also a nice little form thread, so let's go ahead and follow that. And I have this nice little picture from the form itself depicting some of the houses. If we take a good look at the screenshot uh, from the game here, we will be able to see that the cottages look a lot alike, don't they? Now, I will go ahead and say right off the bat, immediately, uh, that the fact that this is that this game is using this asset unaltered could most likely be entirely false. I will go ahead and be willing to say that this is an asset flip. However, I do appreciate that this dev in particular, or I really shouldn't call him a dev in some uh, people's opinion, but I'm calling him a dev mostly because he's using this asset and he's most likely manipulating it does that make any does that make the at term asset flip any more ethical um it's entirely up to you in my personal opinion it does not it is an asset flip however done right i suppose so with that being said shut up and stay happy